first, uh, to put this in focus, these uh, initial nine months of the administration, we have been focused on a few things when it comes to, to Syria. Expanding humanitarian access uh, for people who desperately need that assistance. And we had uh, some success, as you know, uh, with uh, renewing the critical corridor uh, in, uh, uh, in northwestern Syria uh, to do that. Uh, sustaining the uh, campaign that we have with the coalition uh, against, uh, against ISIS uh, and, uh, and al-Qaeda uh, in, in Syria. Making clear uh, our commitment, our ongoing commitment, to demand accountability from the Assad uh, regime uh, and the preservation of basic international norms like promoting human rights uh, and nonproliferation through the imposition uh, of targeted sanctions and sustaining local ceasefires uh, which are in place in different parts of the country. So this has been the focus of our action for these last nine months. As we're moving forward um, in the, the time ahead, keeping violence down, uh, increasing humanitarian assistance, uh, and focusing our military efforts on any terrorist groups that pose uh, a threat uh, to us uh, or to our partners um, with the intent and capacity to do that. Uh, these are going to be uh, the critical areas of focus for us, and they're also, I think, important to advancing um, a broader political settlement to the uh, Syrian conflict consistent with UN Security Council Resolution 2254. Uh, what we have not done uh, and what we do not intend to do is to express any support for efforts to normalize uh, relations uh, or rehabilitate uh, Mr. Assad uh, or lifted a single sanction uh, on Syria or changed our position uh, to oppose the reconstruction of Syria until there is irreversible progress toward a political solution, which we believe is necessary and vital. Um, the question of incentives. I think uh, for, for uh, others who might uh, uh, join in the uh, normalization effort, um, I think the incentives are being demonstrated every single day by the UAE and Israel. And the incentives are simply this. These uh, efforts and the normalization is profoundly in the interests of the people in the uh, countries in question and is providing all sorts of new opportunities as evidenced by the extraordinary uh, jump in uh, tourism the business relationships that are uh, being uh, built every single day, the work that uh, our countries are doing together uh, increasingly in a wide variety of areas, those are very powerful incentives because it simply means that people will have uh, a better life, more opportunity, more security, more prosperity. So I think uh, going forward, it's, it's exactly what uh, Sheikh Abdullah said. Um, the, the proof is in what has already been created, and I think as more and more people see that, uh, understand it, become aware of it, they will want to do uh, the same thing.